Well, I don't know if this is a Kwandong or a sandalwood. I think it might be. I think, I suspect it might be a sandalwood. But I planted lots and lots a few years back now. It's all uh, documented on my YouTube channel. I, uh, I planted out lots and lots of sandalwood nuts and uh, Kwandong nuts. They're, rel they're both relatives, close relatives. They're bush tucker Australian food eaten by our indigenous, indigenous people for thousands and thousands of years. And if they're Kwandongs, they have um, an edible nut plus uh, fleshy surrounds that are used as a fruit. If they're sandalwoods, they are used as, as a nut. And their timber is used, uh, well, it's one of the most uh, world's most valuable timbers because it's used to make incense, sandalwood incense. If it's a sandalwood, it's sand Santalum spicatum. If it's a Kwandong, it's um, Santalum ac acuminatum. I'm sorry, I'm not an expert, but I've never grown them before. So I have to learn which is which. I'm not sure because I planted the nuts all over the place. Anyway. They're yeah, expensive bush tucker fruits. Sandalwood nuts are a delicacy now. They're good vegan uh, bush tucker, aren't they? And uh, kwandong nuts are edible too. But kwandongs also have the edible fruits, uh, fruit flesh. Sand sandalwoods don't, don't seem to be known for their um, for their uh, flesh. I think um, in Western Australia you're not allowed to harvest them without a license. I think only indigenous people are allowed to eat them in Western Australia, but I'm in New South Wales. How long since I did that video? Now it must be about six, six years, is it, since I uh, planted my Kwandong seeds and my sandalwood seeds. I planted them near wattle trees. So right beside, we've got a wattle tree here to act as host for the sandalwoods and the kwandongs because they need host plants to live on. They're a bit like mistletoe, they sort of live off neighbouring plants. There's another tree, I don't know if it's sandalwood or a kwandong, but it's got one fruit on it. Next year it'll probably have lots, so it's got to be a first time. I told a lie, look it's got two fruits on it. Well next year you'll have lots and lots, won't you? I really can't tell whether they're sandalwoods or quandongs, but I'll soon know once they ripen. This is a young sandalwood or quandong. There it is. It's too young to have fruit that one. But nearby, I've got a raspberry jam wattle, so it can parasitize it if it wants. This is the uh, raspberry jam wattle, and it has wood that smells like raspberry jam. And it's a favorite host of both quandongs and sandalwood, so I thought I'd, I'd plant a few of those. Here's, I think this one might be a quandong, I'm not sure. The proof of the pudding will be in the eating, won't it? This one hasn't got any fruits on it yet. It's put on a few flowers occasionally. Maybe next year we'll have lots of fruits. I think it might be a condom because the leaves are a bit different to the other one. Seems to have a few little creatures living on it too. Let's have a look. See just uh, some sort of little caterpillar of some sort. There are some sorts of little cocoons or caterpillars or something. I don't know what they are. I'm no entomologist nor a botanist. I don't know what they are. Some little creatures, little moths or something. I think they might be little cocoons. They're going to turn into something. I look, and there's a whole lot of flower buds. So, my dream of having uh, quandongs and sandalwoods 
has come true, almost. Just have to wait to eat the fruit. Look, there's a mosquito. There's a mosquito gormandizing on me. Take your Japanese virus away. What is it, Japanese encephalitis? Take your Japanese encephalitis away from me, please. What else do we have here? We have Ross River fever and I'm not sure else. What, what else do you carry? Malaria? Dengue fever? Go away. <sighs> here are some nice acacias. These are Acacia itiophila. And um, I sprinkled all um, I sprinkled all quandong nuts underneath them recently, so in a few years' time we should have quandongs growing under these as well. Acacia, itiophila, very pretty. They're only a couple of years old. They can live to a good age. What's growing underneath this acacia, itiophila? I thought so. Ruby salt bush, bush tucker. Let's see. Ruby salt bush, bush tucker. Most underestimated bush tucker. It'll become very popular in a few years as a drink. Can make a beautiful drink. Mmm. Very sweet. Of course, like any berry, when you get around to a bush, you'll find some more sweet than others. That's a very sweeter than others. This is a very sweet bush. I must remember that. Very sweet bush, this one. Here's a tough little quandong or sandalwood come up from a seed. It's quite tough, isn't it? And it's growing right under a wattle tree. Right under a... What's this wattle tree we've got here? It's um, Acacia stenophylla. That's what it is. And there's also roots of Acacia uh, pendula around this area. Oh. This is Acacia stenophylla. I presume it would be a reasonable host for quandongs and sandalwoods. This huge tree is Acacia pendula. All the quandongs I've got growing around here, around this big acacia, seem very happy. So I think its roots are everywhere. And the quandongs and sandalwoods can latch onto those roots. This is an Acacia pendula sucker coming up. An acacia pendula sucker coming up, and uh, it's right near these. Um, what are they? Are you quandong or sandal or sandalwood? I've got no idea. But there's some young quandongs or sandalwoods coming up here. By the way, I'm in the Lachlan Valley where we have very uh, cold winters with f heavy frost, and we have boggy clay soil. This, these are either. Uh, Santalum spicatum or Santalum acuminatum, and they're young, healthy uh, saplings. I almost said stripling, sapling. So lots of quandongs and sandalwood nuts. You can do it too. You can do all this too, provided you plant the right trees. The host trees. You need wattle trees for hosts. That is acacia trees for hosts and then you need to plant the nuts here are a whole lot more quandong seeds I've got to plant all potential trees I've got to give them the heat and smoke treatment there first what you do is you give them the heat and smoke treatment and then you soak them I think for 24 hours I must read the instructions all over again. These are quandongs. So inside is a quandong nut, which is also edible. I think it's supposed to be roasted. So my quandong and uh, sandwood forest is growing. Look, they're taller than I am. Much taller than I am now. That one's a good size. Hmm, twice as tall as I am. 